Hello and welcome back to the scale form HUD tutorials. As you may notice my screen size is rather smaller on this one. That's because I realized I don't actually need to show you my second screen until I start programming in Flash because I use both screens to have more screen space. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the configuration files, the .inies, and see how far we can get into the actual programming. Uh, before the YouTube time limit cuts off. So, in your UDK folder, the one where you installed UDK straight from the installer, not a clean install, not a fresh install or whatever, just straight from the um, installer that you've downloaded from the website. So, open up your UDK game folder, and the very first thing you need to do is make a backup file folder of your config directory in here. Uh, this is just so that if something goes wrong, uh, you mess it up, you need to go back to the original, uh, you don't have to completely reinstall, which is what I've had to do on at least one occasion. So, uh, where are we? Yes, you've created your backup, go into config, uh, and, then, and that's not the backup, the original. What you need to do is find the default game and default engine uh, files. So select both of those, right click properties and make sure you uncheck read only on them. You only need to do that for these two. You can do it for the whole lot but you only need to do it for these two because these are the only ones we're going to be editing. So uncheck read only and click OK. So open up default engine.ini and you're looking for Unreal Ed dot editor engine that section you can do a find for it if you want but it's relatively easy to find it's about the fourth section down from the top you should have two lines that begin plus edit packages under there possibly more make sure that the very last line in that section is the one we're about to put in so type in plus edit packages equals scale form tutorial Okay, because that's what we're going to call our project, scale form tutorial. All right, save that and close out. And then open up the default game.ini, which is the other one you set as not read only. Uh, under engine.gameinfo, that's the second thing down, you'll see a line that says default game equals utgame.ut deathmatch. You want to highlight utgame.ut deathmatch and change that to scale form tutorial dot st game info which is the file we're going to create shortly and the reason I pre prefix it with st it's just a naming convention because if you use just game info that file already exists and it has to be unique so copy that and paste it over the, the ut game at ut deathmatch on the next line the default server game line and player controller class name you probably don't need to do this one but it's a good idea to do it anyway uh, change it to scalefoon tutorial dot st player controller again the prefix is there because the class player controller already exists and I believe that's all you need to do you could change these lines that say sort of default game type default map prefixes but those are really only for in the editor so if you're turning this into a full project you probably do want to change those lines but for the purposes of this tutorial you only need to change the first three so save that and close out and 